What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Williams and this is the Cedar Ridge Chronicles. If y'all haven't been here before, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and we're going to get started. All right guys, what I've got for y'all today is a tip on how to cut the back of your cape for a shoulder mount. Uh, typically, you're used to making the V in the back of the skull and uh, on this rack right here, normally, I'm gonna use this skull as a, a demo. Normally you would go from right here back and right here back and you'd make a V and then go straight down the back of the neck. And I would say in the South, that is pretty much the norm. I don't know why, but up North, it seems that, that the normal way to do it is a little bit different. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. A lot of the capes that I get from up north, they cut from one base right straight over to the other base. And then they come down at an angle down the back of the neck. And that works great too. I've mounted a lot of those deer and honestly, I, I really sometimes can't tell which one I like better because doing it the other way, like I get from up north, it really hides that seam well when you go down the back of the neck at an angle. One thing that I did learn is on racks like this, that's why I wanted to show you all this particular skull, you can see where it's got this little dagger point coming out the back and this other little crooked hook. And you can't get to the bottom of that burr out there to make your V. So in this case, if I'm caping this deer out, I'll come right here straight across, kind of on the, the back three quarters maybe of those bases, go straight across and then you can cut down at an angle. Now, sometimes you'll run into a deer that has got big, long daggers coming out of the bases, sometimes on both sides. I did a deer a while back that had two about that long that laid almost right against the back of that deer's neck. And I wish really bad I'd done this video on that deer, but I just didn't think about it. But when you've got two, if they come back here and come way back here, there's almost no way that you can get to make that V. And it's really hard to even come across and come down. So what I did on that deer, I actually came straight across on the top right here, and then I went and made almost like a, like a number seven, but I came back toward the inside and went right down in between those two uh, spikes coming out just so I could get in there to stitch. Now, if you have two points that come in here too close together and you can't get in between them, something else that you can do is go straight across right here, and you can cut away from this burr and then come to the back side of one of those points and make a loop, kind of a D shape and come right back around to the back of the neck. And then you can either go down or go down at an angle or however you'd like to do that. It doesn't hurt anything to go around those points, but if you try to make a V in there, even if you can get your scalpel up under it and get it cut, when you go in there to stitch it, it is gonna be a nightmare. So that just, you know, as an idea, that's a couple ways that I can show y'all to where if y'all have those weird looking antlers, it's got the little points coming out like that right there. You can go around that, you know, any way you need to. Like on this one right here, I mean, you could you could really go straight across right here and then come straight down like that. If there was one on this side, you could go right across. You could cape up underneath that, and then you could come around on the back side of it. You know, when you go to stitch this up, if you'll stitch this first, then you can pull this tight and stitch this so that it meets around the base where it's supposed to. And then you can just come right back around that point and stitch that in. So anyway, guys, I hope that this was helpful. Maybe uh, next time y'all go to do a deer that's got a big old spike on the back of its head, you're not wondering what in the world to do. So guys, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next time.